Hi, I've recently installed the WordPress theme for sliding doors, which I really like a lot. And you can see that it's uh, got some a really nice menu at the top. I had a lot of trouble finding out how to put the images into this menu, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial just to help out other people, just in case they're having the same trouble that I did. So first of all, you log in. And then you need to go to your pages. Now, if, if this is a new WordPress in installation, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a new page. It's very easy. Just add new. Give the page a title. I'll call this one new page. And then you're going to need to publish the page like this. OK. And then that page is ready to to, uh, to use with the sliding door scene. And you're, you're going to need to make seven of them, seven pages. I'm going to use the pages that I've already got and I'm going to speed this next bit up. So I go into each page and down in this bottom right hand corner you've got the featured image. That's the image you're going to use. I'm going to remove that for all, all of my pages. Okay, so once you've done that you need to upload your your images. Now I'm very lucky I've got a friend of mine that made me some fantastic images that I can use for my my doors. Uh, name's Paul OCD Mulder in case you uh, ever bump into him. But he, he made me these. They need to be um, they need to have a width of 320 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. So there's the images. I've got them all in a folder. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start at the top again and I'm going to add some media. So I'm going to open up this page here and there's the add media button there. I double click on that and I upload files. I'm going to select the files from my desktop, which would be good if I could find it. And I'm going to select all of the files. And then I've got them specially made for, for each one. So, for example, my first page, I'm going to put this one here. I insert that into the page. We'll take this one here. Okay, that becomes your page's featured image. Then you need to go and do that for all of them. So I'm going to do this very quickly. Uh, I'll speed this up in the video, so I won't be saying anything. Right, so that is all of the pages now done. So the next thing we're going to do is going to go to appearance and we're going to go to menus. Um, now you can see already that I've got all of my menus selected here. And the way that you get these pages up, if you were starting from scratch, let's, let's start this from scratch. So I remove all these pages and I delete this menu just to show you how to do that as well. So this, this would be what you'd be looking at when, when you first open the menu. So you create a menu here, give it a name. I'm going to call mine Slider. And then you create the menu button there. Now here's how you add the page. This is a bit I had trouble with. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. But, well it isn't for me anyway. <laughs> so you got you get the pages that you want, you click on the pages that you want. They need to be published, remember, they need to be published pages. I've got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you add them to the menu like so. So they're all in your menu now. Um, you've already set the featured image for each one. So the next thing you need to do is you need to set them on the navigation. You can have them in both, the primary navigation, the sliding navigation. I'll show you the difference when it comes up. So when we go to save the menu 
and then we go hopefully it's all worked and there you are much better menu looks miles better now doesn't it now if you want to change the order of the menu go back into your into your um, menus part appearance menus and you drag them up in the order you want I, I want mine in a specific order so you just move them up in the order that you want them to go into like so mine's specific because mine's an educational website and the students do the the units in a certain order and YouTube at the bottom like that now the only other thing you really need to know about this is how to link this to your to your various pages by default they link to the pages on your website but you can get them to link to um, external URLs so I quickly show you how to do that um, leave this page yes so if I was for example wanted to link the electronic circuits one I'd go to edit the page and here if I wanted an alternate URL I click in there and I just type in the URL there and then update the page and away you go but as it happens I don't want that I want what I've already got so it's linked to the page and then so on and so forth okay that's all there is to it um, you can as I said you can mess around with the bits bits and pieces as you want it's uh, very easy bye <laughs>